Grade 5 math number 7.4. Multiply a fraction by a fraction with an area model. When we multiply fractions to fractions, we're trying to find a part of a part. So if you think you have like half of a candy bar and you want to give part of it to a friend, you've only got a half and you're giving a part of that fraction to your friend. So that would be a part of a part. See? So to find one-third of four-fifths, what we can do is fold the piece of paper into five equal parts. See? What I did was I took a piece of paper and I folded it like this into five equal parts. See, I've got them numbered, one, two, three, four, five, and it was long like this. Then what I did was I colored in four of those five long parts. That's four-fifths. Then what I did was, once they were colored in, I folded it like this again, and I folded it into three parts. One, two, three. See, because I'm trying to find a third of the four-fifths. So now I had all these nice folds. I had four-fifths of it colored yellow, and then I took one-third of this part down here, see? Because I folded it going this way, I split it into one, two, three going this way. I colored in one-third of the part that I colored yellow. So I first colored in four-fifths, then I colored in a third of the four-fifths part, see? Now, I count the number of folded sections on the whole paper. All right, so there's five, 10, 15 little squares. Okay, see, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15. And how many of them are colored blue? Just four, four fifteenths. The yellow part was the four fifths, and the blue part was the one third of the four fifths. The whole paper is the number of the denominator, 15. There's 15 squares that we folded it into. The blue part is the numerator. The whole paper's folds is the denominator. See? So we counted the blue sections and got four out of the 15 squares on the whole paper. So 4 fifteenths is the answer. See? Look at this one. One half of two thirds. This one's going to be really easy to see. If you wanted to multiply one half times two thirds, I made a circle and I split it into thirds. Then I colored two thirds of the circle green. And I need half of it. I need half of the green part. Do you see half the green part? Isn't that easy? Here's one part, here's the other part. One of them would be half of it. So if I chose this one, as the half of the green part, how many of the whole circle did I choose? I chose one-third. See? That's one-third of the whole circle. So one-half times two-thirds is one-third. That was kind of easy to see, wasn't it? So here's what we need to do to make a model to multiply a fraction by a fraction. The first thing we do is got, we have to draw a bar or a circle. So I drew a bar. We use the denominator of the second fraction, see, the denominator 5, to tell us how many pieces to split the bar into. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five pieces. We use the numerator of that second fraction to tell us how many to color in. Well, if we do 1 fourth times 2 fifths, the 2 is telling me out of the five pieces that I split it into, to color two of them. So I colored two of them yellow. Then we split that yellow section into the same number of sections as the first fraction's denominator, four. So I had to split the yellow part into fours. One, two, three, four. See, I split it in half and it made four. And now I need one of them. So I colored one of the four. I colored it blue. See that? So now, figure out the fraction that's blue. So if you look at this bar, and we extended this line going this way to split it up, how much of the bar is blue? How many pieces are there? Two, four, six, eight, ten, and one of the ten pieces is blue. 
So guess what? One-fourth times two-fifths equals one-tenth. See? Isn't that something? So we can use area models to help us find the products when we multiply a fraction by a fraction. See? That wasn't that hard, was it? So what you can do is write this down or try to remember it so that when you do it yourself, you can remember how to make them. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.